What's up, guys? Uh, I've told you a bunch of stories, and I've still got a bunch to tell. But this one here involves my guardian angel. And my guardian angel, I'm a, I'm a huge believer that I have a guardian angel that looks over me. I've just been through so much crap in my entire life, and I've come out of every bit of it unscathed. So i am just been super, super lucky. But on this occasion, uh, she definitely saved me from dying, for sure. But at the time, this was around 2010, and I was working in Atkins, and I was living in Russellville. I had a Yamaha R1 crotch rocket. It would go about 200 miles per hour. It was an absolute death trap. But I drive that back and forth to work every day down the interstate. Well, I started seeing an old girl in Van Buren. So I'd stay at her house on the weekends, which meant Monday mornings I had to get up super, super early and leave to get to work on time. So I'd usually get on the interstate at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Now, some mornings I was running later than others, and I'd have to end up, you know, getting up to 175, 190 and just zipping down the interstate. But most mornings I was on time, and I'd do about 155, just 155, lay on the gas tank, and just cruise the whole way there. There was this one particular morning. Uh, it's completely black at 4 o'clock in the morning. There's no vehicles on the interstate. I'm in the right-hand side lane. I'm doing my 155, and my guardian angel's telling me to get over. So I'm not understanding why she's wanting me to get over, but I always listen to my guardian angel. But this time I questioned her for whatever reason. So I'm like... No, I don't need to get over. There's nobody coming. The lane's clear. I'm good. So she's like, get over and get over now. So when she got kind of snippy with me, I got over because I knew something serious was about to happen. So I get over in the passing lane just as I cross the yellows. Whoom! A washing machine is dead center in the right-hand side lane of the interstate. Had I waited a split more second, I would have centered up that washing machine on my motorcycle doing 155. And yes, I was that guy that wore the do-rag, no helmet, so I would have got my melon cracked open just like that. But anyway, uh, I get about three or four miles down the road, and there's a truck pulled over, and his tailgate is down, and he's shining a flashlight in the bed of his truck looking around. So I just always assumed that that guy had lost his washing machine, and when it landed, it just landed perfectly in that driver's side, or the, you know, the, the right-hand side lane. So, uh, of course, I go to work, I tell everybody about it, and the, the running joke was keep, out, keep an eye out for the dryer, you know, when you're coming through there. But anyway, I just wanted to tell that little short story, because I'm a firm believer in your guardian angel, and they're, they're out to protect you, and they're out to help you, so you always want to listen to your guardian angel. Now, there are some people who stay in trouble all the time, and they're always in jail, or they're always doing something stupid, or they're always getting hurt. Chances are your guardian angel is a crackhead, okay? They're probably out smoking a meth pipe on the weekend, hanging out with their buddies. Uh, you're about to do something stupid. You're about to get in trouble. You're looking around for your guardian angel to tell you to do something right, and they're not there to help you. They're hungover, sleeping one off from the night before, so you end up doing something stupid. So not everybody's guardian angel is going to be top-notch like mine is. A lot of people's guardian angel is a loser. So, but if your guardian angel's got you through life unscathed, unharmed, uh, keep listening to your guardian angel because they're there to protect you and they're there to take care of you. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Just want to tell you that quick little short story. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.